Flash number 36, Joshua Williamson writing Howard Porter on the art. And, well, I'm happy Kristen's alive, so that's nice. That's, yeah. It was kind of obvious, was, but uh, it was nice. When, when the cover teases the death of a rogue, I was kind of hoping for more than just Tur- a character. You mean that Turbine? We've gotten, yeah. You're not impressed by Turbine, really man? Rogue. No, I mean, sure, he's a Flash antagonist, because I wouldn't even call him a villain. But he's not a rogue. You know, when you say a death of a rogue, I thought maybe Mirror Master was getting I mean, that. They're, they're using the term rogue loosely. Yeah, There's in more I, of yeah. rogue's gallery. I don't know who makes the call as to what text like that goes on the cover. Like I don't know if that's like the writer's call yeah. or if it's an editor's call because they're the ones sort of overseeing the like book. I was like, it. oh man, this is this is exciting. But and then when it got there... Blame, blame the like, editor. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't want to say it's bad. I'm just like, okay, well, I, like when Trickster pops up, I was like, oh... No, oh, this is the real... Oh, nope, he's just... Okay, he's on solitary. Which, by the oh. way, uh, I actually... I'm going to take his uh, Maybe the one-armed man done it as a Twin Peaks reference. Thank you very much. I'm happy. <laughs> or the Fugitive. I, I thought the same. Nah, Twin Peaks is better. Are you serious? You guys are going Twin Peaks over the Fugitive? Well, it's it better, so yes. Man. Oh, man. I actually really like this issue a lot. I, I like all the things it's doing with the, 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 the plot moving forward. Obviously, so we had the big reveal in this one that the the crime boss that's invading Copperhead's territory. And we get, it's, it's, I love how it's teased because we see Copperhead, after Flash and Kid Flash have dealt with the, the Trigger uh, twins or whatever they're called. Twins. Yeah. And uh, so they've dealt with that and then Copperhead's like, oh, this is the the, the third or fourth time a, the Flash has interfered. Like, maybe, maybe I should take your boss up in that offer. And she's just talking to a reflection. I'm like, Mirror Master, Mirror Master's in there, and then sure enough it is, and then I love the reveal at the end, that it's actually Captain Cold and the Rogues that are running the town, they're just doing it in secret from underneath yep. Iron Heights, it's glorious. Yep. Yep. Where nobody's going to look, yeah. like they've, they've got it figured out, and then the fact that Captain Cold's created himself a throne on top of all of this stuff, I just love <laughs> Of course, yeah. It's great, and also yeah. they mentioned that they seem to know, even if it wasn't Cold himself, they seem to know who did kill. Uh, turbine because they accept that Trickster willingly was taking the fall for it. Yep. He he was like implicating himself so they don't come looking. And um, it mm-hmm. makes me wonder if it wasn't actually them, but they knew that they'd start looking into things if they thought if they were still looking for the murder. So they agreed that one of them had to take the fall just so that no one, you know, put their nose where they didn't want it to, you know, yeah. be sniffing. He yeah. could have been a little more subtle about it. They're going, "Hey, it was me. I killed him." <laughs> it wasn't. He's the trickster. He's flamboyant. He, he yeah, jumps yeah, but, but even Barry's there, like going, you know, that 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 was a bit easy. I, I think it might be something else going on. They, they didn't really help themselves, did they? No. Yeah. Well, he's, he's still suspicious, but of course, the other thing here is that he tries to ask August for help, and then August at least seems like he's going to completely betray him. He monologues the hell out of him as well. He does. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's not like Barry leaves that conversation thinking he's going to get any help. He leaves pissed, but that they're on yeah. bad terms, but. It seems at the end that August is going to give up Barry to the rogues. He's uh... I don't think so, though. I think that's a swerve. Oh, maybe a swerve. You may be, yeah. But at least that's how it's presented because, at the end. Because we know that, yeah, Hugs went a little bit crazy with the Speed Force, like trying to kill uh, other speedsters to get more, you know, speed. But deep down, he still believes in justice, even if it's just vengeance. So, yeah, I don't, I don't see him selling out Barry that easily. Although I could be completely wrong, and he's Iron Heights has just done him wrong, so. Oh, he's just that evil and that deranged yeah. secretly. That'd be fun. Could just be. Awful. I like evil for the sake of evil sometimes. That's a nice yeah, it's gonna be nice. Uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed this issue, and I, I'm liking kind of the development stuff. I'm liking that you know Signs shows up and stops Barry and Kristen from investigating it. No, that's not your job. Don't you dare! Like I'm, I'm liking kind of the continuation of that, and like this, like the the whole idea that Barry may have to win him over eventually. Uh, I, I'm liking I'm, I'm liking the sort of long game that's been played here. Yeah. And mm-hmm. even even bringing August back into it in, in a key way like this is again it's playing the long game. It's bringing back a character like that that Williamson introduced in the first arc. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I like any sense of continuity like that, uh, and that's pretty good. Howard Porter does a good flash. Yeah, okay. yeah. I think it's, I'm not big on his art, to be honest. It's fine. Like it's nothing. It's not G Domenico. I feel like you know? his flash is really bulky. Where where I prefer where where when the flash is quite sleek that we've had recently. Yeah. Well, the funny thing you say that is, though, I'm, I, I kind of get used to his Flash first, though, before I got used to his sleek Flash, so to me, it's just kind of like, oh, this is more like classic Flash. It, 
Yeah, it feels like a throwback. Yeah. Oh, that's you know? fair. Yeah. Can, can, can we talk about the uh, the dark side isn't? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there's a little like, montage, essentially, at the start with yeah, Barry. Which is all the, all, the, all the Sherlock Holmes titles, but just changed yeah. for this. It's basically, mm-hmm. it's basically Barry, like, like obviously because he's got a murder mystery to deal with, it's him remembering all these different murders that he helped solve in the past. Uh, and one of them, like Orion standing about, and <laughs> we just have, who is it that's saying it again? There's someone on their knees, who is that? Uh, is this some randomer? It might be. Yeah, he's just like saying, "Dark side isn't Flash. Dark side isn't." Which let's be honest, that's just a nice little reference to uh, to to Mister Miracle, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously that. I mean, we, we know that. I mean, King didn't come up with that phrase, but I think uh, it's but, still. But they're being there right now. Yeah, it's because of the popularity of that book. Yeah. But I, I did enjoy all the, the Sherlock Holmes titles. Just, you know, like the, the Hound of Apocalypse. It was, it was yeah. nice. 